Hi guys and welcome back to another squad builder by myself Bateson87. Now a lot of people have been, well not mourning, but asking me to do um, bronze squad builders. I haven't really done them but I've never seen the need to do bronze squad builders and that is simply down to the reason EA don't really accommodate for such, like the only time people, most people play with bronze players is in the starter pack teams uh, and not many people want to play with that. So EA have released a new tournament, uh, let's go and have a look what that tournament called uh, and then we'll go and um, I'll go and show you. So it was called the the Bronze Crown. So you get 5,000 coins and one premium bronze jumbo. Now I, I'm not sure if that money's gone up since I, because I won it. This team I'm about to show you, I actually won the bronze tournament with it. Now I'm not sure if it was 4k originally and it's gone up to 5k. You lot have to let me know in the comment section below. So. The team I'm going to show you today is a team I built for this. So, first things first, go and check out FIFA Coins Online for your ultimate team coin needs. Their link is in the description. Now, I'm going to crack on with this team and show you exactly why I built it and uh, also a few tricks you might want to know for the future. So, in net, we're going to go with we're going to go with some English defenders. So, in net, we're going to go with Jalal. He is probably the best English goalkeeper, uh, according to most people in my stream. Anyway, they did say Jalal was the best, and pretty he is pretty tall as well, pretty decent keeper, six foot two. Actually, that's not even that tall really, but he he, he does uh, pull it out of the bag when needed. The two, the three centre backs, uh, the first one in the middle, we're going to go with Goldson. On the left hand side, we're going to go with Hector, and then on the right hand side, we're going to go with Mambo. Now, with these three centre-backs, a lot of you won't notice uh, there, but all of them are over 70 pace. Um, and all of them play for the same club. All of them are the same nationality. This is basically, well, this is pure chemistry. So, basically, they don't need any more links going to them. And that will use an advantage because... Um, th there may be a few other people who get pure chemistry free centre backs. Now I've seen one in the Serie A. There was um, Barzagli, Chiellini, and Benucci. But if you lot do follow Ultimate Team, you will know that there's been the recent transfer of Ogbonna to Juventus. Now Ogbonna is one of the sweatiest centre backs in the Serie A. He gets a pure chemistry link. If you use three at the back, you'll be able to get a pure chemistry link with Chiellini, Barzagli and Dogbonna. That is a ridiculous defence and it leaves a lot of options for your midfield. So with this team now, we're going to switch it up and play with something we've never played before. So we're going to switch up the nationality, not play with anything and we're going to search A-League. So two A-League players we've gone for is Lear on the left hand side and on the right hand side we've gone with Dile uh, Dilevski. Dilevsky. I'm not 100% sure on this. You lot, if you are from follow the A League or even know how to pronounce his name, please let me know if I said that correctly because I don't think I have. Now, the main reason them two are there is for chemistry. Uh, we had to get him from a uh, Melbourne team. What are they even called? Melbourne. I, I was playing with him. Melbourne Victory, that's it. Um, the reason we've got him is because he's from the Melbourne victory. This is for the chemistry link with the right midfield. So, with the remaining five players to put in the team, we have four FIFA skillers. This is uh, four skills or above. Now, unfortunately, we don't know any five skiller bronze players apart from Lee Trundle. And uh, I don't know who put him in the team. So, on the left-hand side, we're going to go with Ramsey. There is two versions of this card. We have gone with the version who plays for Adelaide, I think. Please say I'm correct. I think I'm Adelaide United. Uh, in the centre attacking midfield position, we have gone with Rogic. He also has a card at Celtic now as well. So all you uh, Scottish League fans, you can uh, try him out and uh, put him into a bronze team if wanted. And on the right midfield, we have gone with the normal Rojas. He also has an informed version. If you follow Matt HD Gamer, you'll know that he is a bronze beast of Matt's. Uh, but we're cheap enough just to go for the uh, right midfield. So that's basically our A-League setup there. Uh, very nice looking midfield with three four-star skillers, which is pretty beast. And Rogic is absolutely fucking tank as well. Six foot two at Cam, he rises to the task. Very strong attacker as well. 
So moving on to the two players remaining, and it's going to be another strong link attack, and we're going to do it from the uh, League One. So all of you know which player is going to come right now on the left-hand side, and it's going to be French as well. It's going to be Benzia. Uh, five star skiller, he's definitely not worth 29k now, but we did purchase him a long time ago. Four star skills, four star weak foot. And then the other striker to finish off this team, we've gone with Bassetti. Now, there is another player who you could get a strong link with uh, Benzia, and that is Bahokan. Uh, pretty tidy player. Both of them are very similar, but the one we chose was Bassetti. So there we are with a full chem pure chemistry centre back team uh, with four four star skillers as well so pretty tidy team uh, I'm now going to show you the highlights of the games we did play in the new bronze cup which EA did release and I'm also going to show you the pack which we did open and show you what we got in that as well so thanks for watching and I'll be back in a sec so we're back guys and these are the four games we did play in that new cup which I have no idea what it's called because I didn't really take any notice. It's just the same as everybody else won't take any notice of a bronze tournament. But if you want a bit of fun on this Sunday afternoon make sure you do have have a play really. It's full of noobs. That's what I found and uh, before the tournament dies make sure you have a bit of fun. As everyone's mentality in FIFA at the moment is to win. None of it's having fun. So uh, if you want to win, build this team. If you want to win sweaty, build a, an English team, like an English bronze team. If you want to win sweaty with a bit of skill, build a League One team or even a French bronze team. They've got a pretty decent uh, amount of centre-backs. And also you can try Benzia in that team as well. Um... So yeah, let's go through the players and give you a rundown of them. Rogic, very, very solid cam. I love his height, I love his strength. Got a pretty wicked shot and if you want his presence in the air as well, you do have that. Uh, Rojas, pretty good player. Uh, didn't really use him a lot though. Pretty, I just used him for the crosses as you can see there and uh, uh, Rogic getting on top. Uh, we have... Uh, Bassetti as well, the striker who's not Benzia really. Pretty clinical striker, nice goal for him here. Uh, Benzia can't really say anything bad about him, he's a tidy player for a bronze. The only errors he do make is the same as any bronze player will anyway. Um, and also Ramsey, uh, decent skillful player, quite fast, uh, very solid. The two CDMs, even though they were non-rare, were... Uh, we're average really, didn't really overuse them, pick the ball up, defended and spread the ball. Pretty standard for that and none of the reasons we did have I mean, was for uh, chemistry anyway. Now moving back to the pure chemistry link I was on about with the three centre-backs. Make sure in the comment section below you let me know if there's any more pure chemistry links. Uh, if you don't know what I'm on about, make sure you check back in the start of the video where I do explain what it is. And hit me up in the comment section apart from the new Ventus one. I want to know if there's any more for some squad builders I can maybe do in the future. Um, goalkeeper solid as well. Jalal, not going to go go wrong there. So yeah, we absolutely dominated in this tournament. And it was full of sweaty people, to be fair. Uh, final goal there from Benzia. So I'm now going to show you in the background the pack we did get for winning the tournament, um, which was a free bronze jumbo pack. I'm not sure if the value rises up as well. Let me know about that. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment in the section below, subscribe to me if you are not subscribed, and also check out FIFA Coins Online for your ultimate team coin needs. Their link is in the description. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.